Today I'm going to show you how to create a hole in a fill area in embroidery wear. On the screen I have just created a square of fill just using the line tool and I did not worry about any kind of underlay for this. It's just a demonstration so we're not going to be stitching it out. I've also created a circle, just a circle line using the circle tool up on the toolbar. The first thing you need to consider when you're doing this is how many times are you going to need this circle. If you are creating a hole and then adding underlay, fill, and then possibly an outline to this, if you're adding the outline, you're going to need four copies of that circle, and I'll explain that in just a second. We're going to duplicate this. We're going to select it, and then I'm going to click duplicate from the edit menu. And in a second, you'll see that we have another one exactly like it. I'm going to do that two more times so I have four copies. There's number three, and number four will be up here in just a second. Okay, and just for the sake of you being able to follow this, I'm going to select the first hole in the list, or the first circle in the list, it's not a hole yet. Then I'm going to select the fill area. These two areas need to be selected on your list in order to do this. The next thing I'm going to do is go up to the menu and I'm going to select add hole. And a second or so after you've done that, you'll see instructions come up here on the very lower left corner. When it says click on curve, it doesn't necessarily mean curve. It could be a line square as well. This is not a curve. It's actually a square with lines. So what it's asking you to do is click on one of the points that comprises that area. So I'm going to go ahead and click, and it doesn't matter which one you click. I've just clicked at that one right there, number on where the number one is. And then it changes down here, and it says click on the whole curve to add. So now it's telling me, I need to know which area it is you want me to cut the hole from. So we've got our circle here, and it doesn't matter which of these points you click. It doesn't have to be this one that's aligned with that or anything. In fact, I'll click over here. I'm going to go ahead and click this, and when I do, watch up here, and you'll see that one of those, whole, one of those circles is now gone. It's actually incorporated into object number one and you'll see that our hole has been cut out. This is the reason that you want to have that extra one, because when your hole is created, it is no longer able to be used for anything else. So now if we want to come through and we want to add some underlay to that circle inside, we can go ahead and do that. I've unselected my light blue fill area here with the hole in it, and I've selected my first circle just to keep them all in order. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do underlay. And you see that filled with underlay and it shows that here. I'll unselect that one and select the next. And then I'm going to fill the top stitches. And those are filled in. And then I'm going to undo that one, unselect that one, and select the next one. And this one will become our outline. So we can outline this within here. I'm going to come right down here and I'm going to add stitches to lines and I'm going to change that to true which turns it on it says yes and then I'm going to change my length to 20 and one thing that I've noticed with doing the circle tool is if you do as drawn it's going to follow these points out here and you'll have an oddball line so we just want to do double here which will be like a bean stitch and it will follow the curve that's created not as you drew it so if we were to oops, I didn't want to select I wanted to hide I'm gonna hide all of these so you can see our stitches our stitches are right along that red line you know all those little dots right there are stitches and that's really all there is to adding the, um, the holes and creating the fill. If you had, let me un, unhide those. If you had another circle within this circle, 
we can certainly do that. We'll just go through that really quick. I'm going to create a circle. And there's our, there's our second circle. And it will pop up over here. And now we're going to duplicate that. Duplicate. Duplicate. and duplicate, and that gives us four. You might find it useful to change your color for those. In fact, we can do that really quickly. We'll change this one to, let's find a color that you'll be able to see easily. Oh, let's see. We'll do pumpkin. Hopefully that shows up. That over here helps you identify if you've got some that are very similar like circles inside of circles, they all show the same size here. So that can help you keep things straight as to what they are. So I'll unselect these. And now I'm going to add this circle to this design. So I need to have it selected. So we'll come back up here to add hole. And it wants to click Click the item to add the hole to. And I'm going to click that one. And then it wants a point for the curve to add. Whoops, I just did the wrong one. We're going to go ahead and click the undo button. And this undo button is wonderful. I needed to add that to those. Let's try that again. Make sure we have that. Okay, this is already selected. So we want to add it. This one is the original that we want to add the hole to. And that's the one we want to add of the hole. And when you're doing more than one of these, I'm seeing this, and I, I've done this before, but it's been a while. When you're doing more than one of these where the um, fill and the underlay is already there, you'll need to do it more than once. So we're going to go ahead and there we go. So you'll notice when you have the fill and the underlay in there already that you have to do it twice. So now we're shy a couple of these so we're just going to go back and duplicate you can always make extras of those and you can always delete them later better than having to undo things and come back and do them all over again okay so then we want to add underlay to that one and we'll add fill to this one And we'll add top stitch or some, some outline to this one. Add stitches. I'll make that 20 again. And we'll make it a double. Okay. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You see I kind of screwed up a little bit, but it's not hard. You just need to take a little bit of practice with it. So you can do circles inside of circles or squares inside of circles or however you want to do it. And just it doesn't even have to be geometric shapes. It can be, you know, whatever the shape of your design is. I hope this helps and we'll see you next time.